My name is Rachel. We are here today at the lower site on the Fake Lecture. Northern Lobe, as you can see up there. We're currently here filtering suspended sediment uh, through these filtration systems um, once every 15 minutes. The following clip shows Rachel carrying out her sample collection. As multiple samples will be taken at this site, it is essential to rinse the sample bottle several times to prevent any sediment contamination and therefore to ensure accurate results. Harbin and Glasser recommend that you rinse the sample bottle at least twice before collecting each sample. Okay, we've collected our suspended sediment sample from the river. We've moved away from the river uh, to make this section of the video because it's too noisy and you won't be able to hear us talking. So uh, there's our sample that uh, someone is holding up. Now, we've taken quite a bit uh, for reasons that we'll explain in a few moments. So the first thing to do is to assemble our filter paper into the housing. Now the filter paper is pre-weighed, uh, we've got a, a Ziploc bag, uh, which you may just be able to see, we've uh, written the weight on in grams. Very, very important that these filter papers are pre-weighed. And we then remove the filter paper from the bag and install it into the housing. Now the housing just unscrews with this white collar. And one thing you need to be careful of there's this little rubber ring on the inside which Rachel is just pointing out that's got to be there and they, they sometimes fall out so you just need to check that and then on the lower half of the housing underneath the white plates upon which the filter paper rests there's another rubber ring again Rachel's just pointing this out you've got to make sure that's there uh, otherwise you won't be able to create the vacuum that we need uh, to filter the sample so next job is to take the filter paper and place it on the lower half of the housing. It can be a bit tricky in the wind, so you need to keep a hold on it. And then carefully screw the upper part of the housing in place. Making sure you don't cross thread uh, the plastic collar, it's quite easy to do. Okay, so we've now got our filter paper secured in the vacuum housing. Uh, the next job is to pour a known quantity of our uh, sediment laden water into the housing. Before we do that though, we need to give it a good old shake uh, because we need to make sure all that sediment is in suspension uh, and there's none left trapped at the base of our plastic bottle that we use to extract the sample. So we give it a good old shake and once we're confident all the sediment is in suspension we can then pour out uh, a quantity into the upper section of the housing. Now the upper section of the housing has uh, marks on it and we're pouring about 200 millilitres. You need to be as accurate as possible here because our final measure of suspended sediment load will be in grams or milligrams per litre. If you've got level ground that's much better. If you haven't, good idea for both of you to just look from each side of the housing, make sure the water is level and check that it corresponds with the 200 mil mark. So we've now got our, uh, our water sample in the upper part of the housing. Next job is to attach the tube from a hand vacuum pump onto the lower part of the housing. And what we're doing is drawing air from that lower part of the housing uh, and that sucks the water through the filter membrane. So we raise the vacuum pressure uh, by pumping and it's a good idea to give it 30 or 40 pumps to begin with just to get the vacuum strong enough and as hopefully you can see uh, water is now starting to trickle into the lower part of the housing and it's nice and clear because our sediment is being retained on the filter paper. Now you will find that the uh, rate of water through flow drops as you filter. That's because sediment clogs up the filter paper, blocks the pores. Uh, so it does get slower and obviously the higher the sediment load the worse that problem is. So a, a good deal of patience may be needed. 
You don't need to pump continuously. Once the vacuum is strong enough, uh, you can relax and just keep uh, adding a few pumps every few seconds uh, just to keep that vacuum pressure high enough to keep the water flowing through. Uh, one handy tip, a uh, very important tip in fact, when you're getting close to the end of your sample, give the uh, vacuum flask a bit of a swirl. Make sure you're getting all that sediment off the sides of the upper chamber that may be trapped there. Uh, very important you do that uh, as you get to the end. Make sure you're getting all that sediment uh, onto the filter paper and that the, uh, the end result when we weigh that filter paper when it's dried is as accurate as possible. So we've now finished that uh, sample, it's completely filtered through. Next job, uh, first job is to release the vacuum and you can uh, hopefully see a lever on the base of the vacuum pump. We just press that in and that will release the vacuum uh, and that makes unscrewing the upper section of the vacuum flask a lot easier. So we gently undo this. Very important we check that orange rubber ring is still in there and um, we don't lose that on the grass and you can see hopefully uh, there's sediment, nice layer of sediment trapped on the filter paper. Fold the paper carefully in half, make sure we don't tear or lose any of the paper because that would obviously affect our uh, calculations by affecting the weight. And then we've labelled up our bag with the dates, the time and the location. And we pop the folded filter paper in the bag, seal it up and that's now ready to go back to the lab where it will be dried and once it's dry we'll weigh it and compare it to its uh, original weight, its unladen weight without any sediment on it which we have written on the bag. Uh, we know we've used 200 mils of water so we can then work out how many grams or milligrams per litre are in this sample. And then it's just a simple case of discarding the, the filtrate from the lower chamber and we're ready to uh, filter our next sample.